Inspirational Sunday passage from a book is what I am going to read and this is the book Blessed Beyond Measure written by Gloria Copeland and this is a book that I do enjoy and just picking different various things I, I have not read the book from cover to back but I have taken little bits and pieces here and there and that is where I'm going to be reading from little pieces here and there I'm actually going on to page 71 but before I start reading welcome everyone thank you for joining me my name is Mary and I hope you all enjoy this reading so let's go ahead and start reading I do need my glasses for that and it says God loves beauty you can tell that just by looking at the earth even now, in its imperfect state, if you take a ride through the mountains, you will see break, breathtakingly beautiful sights. Consider what he created. Rivers, lakes, sea, mountains, waterfalls, colorful canyons, lush forest flowers, and you can understand how much, how much God appreciates beauty. I think God wants us to have surroundings that are beautiful and pleasant to us because that kind of en environment encourages fellowship with him thinking about it when you go out into the woods or sit besides a lovely stream if you know the lord it won't take you but two minutes before you begin to think about and talk to him places like that are just conductive to communicating with him god made adam and eve just for a garden environment a peaceful habitation a garden just for you well i don't know you might say god made adam and eve leave the Garden of Eden, how do you know he still cares about our having a good place? I know it because... Sorry. <laughs> I know it because throughout the Bible he continues to promise his people good places to live. Even today, places remain very important to God. The passage on Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie in green pastures he leadeth me beside still waters surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and that said mountains rivers lakes nature just in general happen to be my blessing places and just like it says in the passage Heading out to the mountains when I'm feeling down, when I'm feeling upset about something or helpless, helpless, um, helps. And it is very true. Once you are in a place like that, the beauty of nature just swallows you in. And at least it does for me. It gives me a sense of peace, a sense of belonging, a sense of this was created for me. Fears go away, worries go away, and you just take in that peaceful environment and go with it. That is what I do. I do that on a daily. Try to find a peaceful place. It doesn't have to be a trip. It could be your own backyard. It could be Lois's backyard, <laughs> her garden. Um, and if you don't know Lois from Life with Lois's, I will link her channel down below. And I come to her because she is an amazing lady that is so peaceful when she's doing her videos on nature. I absolutely love her nature drives. And I kind of get in, into the moment um, through watching those type of videos with her. Even if I don't have a lake close by or a natural garden close by, look around you. There is something always there and Lois thank you because you continue to provide those type of places for me to just kind of indulge and go out there and get peaceful. Get peaceful with yourself more than anything and when you're peaceful with yourself it's very easy to invite God in. That is just something that I have experienced. So wishing you all peace and tranquility and hope everything that will bring you happiness and peace within yourself 
Now I'm going to go ahead and do a shout out to all the dads out there. Happy Father's Day. Y'all are amazing. Um, I have two sons of my own who happen to also be fathers and I could not be more proud of the two of them right now. That It's powerful moments of everything that they have gone through and they have overcome. I know for many of you, Father's Day is not a day to celebrate. It wasn't for me for a very, very long time. But you do have very important men in your life, children, grandchildren that are fathers and are someone that you see as stepping up and taking care of what they need to take care of. For some of them, it is impossible to be with their children 24 seven. Um, but the chances are that their heart is in the right place it is there. Embrace it, enjoy it, take it as a blessing. And for those mamas out there that are playing, not playing as in playing, but are dual rolled mom and dad, kudos to you all. Greatly, greatly appreciate everything that you do. I support you every step of the way and pretty proud of it. Be proud of yourself. Mom and dad roles by a single mom or a single mom and dad role by a single dad are priceless. Enjoy them, embrace them, you matter. Always remember that someone loves you and you are very important. That is all that I have. I hope it brings inspiration to someone out there and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Smile always. Bye.